look at in this section is a little bit about how we thermal. So I'm climbing out from uh, one of my local sites and I've hit a really nice, quite big, quite smooth thermal. We're not rocketing up, we're climbing nice and gently. So it's quite important that I fly the glider nice and gently to match the conditions. If I'm really aggressive with the brakes in a smooth thermal or a small thermal, then I'm likely to make the glider really inefficient and likely to fall out of the lift. So I'm listening to a Vario, I have a Vario on, but mainly I'm doing it a little bit by feel. So I'm feeling myself climbing. I'm allowing the glider to climb for three or four seconds before I make a maneuver. We're still climbing now. And once I've gone three or four seconds, I know I've got enough room to make a turn. Looking over my shoulder, rolling my weight shift around, I want to start to turn the glider within the thermal. You'll notice I'm using a little bit of outside brake pressure. That'll help me to uh, control the speed of the thermal, the speed of the turn that I'm making within the thermal. So, if I feel now we're going into a nice big climb, so I ease up a little bit, the glider rocks behind me. As it comes forward, I use the energy of that, and I start to take the glider around again in a 360. Look out behind me. As I roll the glider around, if the thermal tries to push me out like that, then I can ease my hand up and allow the glider to bite in a little bit better. And again, making sure I exit on the same heading to try and get it back into the centre of the thermal, having a good look out around me all the time by the pilots. Again, I'm straightening up a little bit. I've gone out the side of the thermal, so I'm easing my hands up, flying forward, forward of the ridge, into the strongest part of the lift again. I've been climbing now for five, six, seven seconds, so I'm going to look over my shoulder, and again, we're going to take the glide around in a 360 turn. As I get the angular bank I want, I'm now using that outside brake to control the speed of my turn. If I want a faster turn, I ease off. If I want to slow the glider down a bit, I ease on a little bit more outside brake pressure and again smoothly and e evenly release the brake pressure. All good. It's key to be nice and smooth in our turns to deal with the pitch of the glider. It's smooth impulse. I.e. if the glider pitches back behind me, I can ease off the brake pressure a little bit as it comes forward. Then again I'm smoothly braking that dive. So as it goes behind me, I release. As it comes forward, smoothly checking the dive and easing the handle. I'm using a little bit of brake to pitch the glider back. So I get a bit of a swing on as if we're going into a thermal there. I do nothing when the glider's behind me as it comes forward. A little bit of brake pressure to control the, the glider as it comes forward. I'm only using enough brake as I feel I need to, depending on how hard the glider's shooting, shooting forward, depends on how hard and how much brake I need to use for that. 